New here at three, there's a South Tampa mom who turned to baking to help her deal with stress during the pandemic. And what she didn't realize is her Cocoa Pops would make a lot of people smile. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how her favorite holiday dessert is turning into a fun business. Before Pamela Burton made the kitchen into her new office, she used to work in the medical field until the pandemic turned her life upside down. I was doing like three people's full-time jobs, <laughs> so I got burnt out and I was getting really sick physically, mentally, and I just figured my health is more important. As an escape, Pamela turned to baking desserts, specifically Cocoa Pops and Cocoa Bombs. And then on the inside, you'll put your hot chocolate, your marshmallows, your sprinkles, and then you kind of mold them back together to form a ball. But she never expected what would happen next after she shared her tasty treats with another mom on her son's baseball team. And she gave them to the neighbors, and then all of a sudden, overnight, she's like, I need a dozen more, I need this, I need that, I need that. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, okay, wait. I was just giving them away as gifts, and now everybody wants to order, and I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it. So now it's sort of like a business? Yeah, kind of. Unexpected business? Unexpected business. In just the last month, Pamela has sold hundreds of these pops. It's gotten to the point where I almost need to hire somebody for help, my daughter. <laughs> um, but free she, labor, right? She's 16 <laughs> okay. and she won't, it's not free. Okay. I, I do have to pay her. Okay. <laughs> Customers like Nicole Meredith travel as far as Riverview to pick up their order. I did not realize just how far she had spread, um, but clearly, I mean, we drove all the way from Riverview to get them, um, so I'm not surprised at all, and I think it's pretty amazing. Pamela says her favorite part is the reaction from the kids after they plop the pop in warm milk and take a bite. Now all she needs is a name for this business. I was going between Pam's Cocoa Treats and Pam's Cocoa Delights, and everybody seemed to like the Delights one better, so I'm I agree. going with that. So Pam's Cocoa Delights. Mm -hmm. You can look me up on Facebook. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.